Oh, you mean the time of the murder? Like, BFFR. Crazy. He could have at least lied about that. Like, how was I supposed to know? Hey guys, it's Michaela, and welcome to another video. It's a trial day. I'm so excited, and I'm filming this much earlier in the night than I did last video. You guys hopefully didn't notice because I think I edited it out pretty well, but I definitely like Loki fell asleep during recording. Um, tonight, we have her back. Last video, I was filming with a protein shake because I didn't put any sodas in the fridge, but we have our zero sugar A&W root beer back today. And she's gonna do the trick, okay? She's gonna keep me awake. We left off after the second day of investigation in the Turnabout Samurai case. And we left off with Cody Hackins, the little second grade child, telling us that he in fact saw the murder happen. Not only did he see the murder happen, he has a bunch of photos of something that I'm sure is going to be very crucial later on. And Detective Gumshoe was eavesdropping on the whole conversation. Cody Hackins is now in witness protection. We're going into the trial. I'm going to have to destroy him on the stand. It is what it is, you guys. Like, I don't care if he's a kid. I have a job to do. So let's not drag this out any longer. The candle of the day is Coconut Beach by Yankee Candle. We love her. We love her. And I'm really excited to get into the trial. I honestly love both um, the trial and the investigation portions of the game, but there's just something about a trial for me. You know, being a trial attorney, it does make sense. So thank you guys for being here. As usual, I appreciate all the support on these videos. And with no further ado, Cheers. All right, episode three, Turnabout Samurai, day three trial. Let's go right into it. Also guys, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, if you're enjoying these videos. I am so close to a thousand subscribers. I'm so excited to do that thousand subscriber giveaway for you guys. So subscribe if you haven't, don't miss out. Okay, so we're going right into the lobby instead of the courtroom, which we appreciate. I would love a moment to talk to my client, you know, before everything goes down. Okay, Phoenix, did not come with the poker face today, I see. <laughs> oh yeah, and Mia is still in Maya's body, but in Maya's clothing, which is so weird, but we're going with it. Okay. No, he's not. Like, I'm sorry, I cannot play into this whole lack of confidence shtick, like. So Mia is in fact deceased for those of you who missed a few episodes. Um, she's a ghost. She takes over her sister's body. Sometimes it happens. <laughs> Literally. No, we're not. No, we're not. Absolutely. It might be difficult, but we're going to do it. And if it was easy, I wouldn't get paid the big bucks. Am I right? All right, 10 a.m. right on the dot. And Edgeworth is, Edgeworth is back. So happy to see him. Mm-hmm. Right. Another interesting thing, I guess they are technically different trials but giving an opening statement every single trial is kind of weird. Like, since it is the same case technically, you know? Yep. Oh, okay. So you're probably gonna show the monkey head that tells the time that fell into the path. Nobody could have done the murder because everybody was blocked by the monkey head, yada yada. If this is y'all's first time watching my videos, please go watch the first three episodes in this case because you're gonna be really confused otherwise. <laughs> okay, Sal Manella. We met Sal Manella last episode. He is literally, what what word can I say on YouTube? Um, 
He is an older man who preys on young girls. Shall we just leave it at that? We hate. Hate. And he looks like that, of all people. And he talks like, I mean, there's just literally nothing to like about this guy. Oh my God. <sighs> okay, wonderful English, we love it. Okay, so we're gonna hear it from his point of view. Oh, absolutely, Mia. We're here, girl. Well, maybe. I also think the second grader, I'm not ruling him out. I'm certainly not ruling old bag out yet. And honestly, I'm not ruling Penny out either. So we have a we have an array of suspects here. All right, let's get it. Okay. Right, they were doing a run through. Okay. So there's my client on the right. Victim is on the left. Penny is in the middle and old bag is back there stuffing her face like usual. You're pretty sure. Pretty sure. Okay, interesting. Sounds great. Let's pick it apart. Correct. Time of death was 2.30. So he says. All right. We're pressing everything, baby. That makes sense. Okay. <laughs> FWIW. I actually want to know what that means. I'm going to Google that. <laughs> For what it's worth. Okay. Did you guys know that? Comment down below. Am I stupid? <laughs> For what it's worth, I was pretty busy all day. Dang, am I getting old? Yikes. Okay. Old bag. Okay, so Manila, Old Bag, Will Powers, and Jack Hammer. Interesting. Oh, crap. Hold on. No, no, no. Back. <laughs> Hold it. Will Power twisted his ankle during the run through. Old Bag said she fixed it, or Penny? That's, I'm not going to look that one up. <laughs> it's a great lunch and a great assistant. She needs a raise. If I were you, I personally would not be skipping a T-bone lunch, but dedication to the craft, I guess. Steak joke. <laughs> yes. I don't know if it's contradictory, but it is a little vague to me. Yeah. 
Ew. Pocket chocolate? I don't like that. Hmm. Weird. Okay. You know, somehow I can. Somehow I can. <laughs> you're pretty sure, right? Yeah, you're pretty sure. So the meeting was from, what did they say, 2.30 to 4? Or earlier. It might have been earlier. Regardless, mm, the fact that nobody left their seats is kind of unbelievable. Okay. All right. I got you, Mia. Okay. Let me just... Just... Make sure I have everything completely correct. So he comes in all kinds of times throughout the day. He was pretty busy all day. He had an action scene run through that was with him, Old Bag, Will Powers, and Jack Hammer. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just take a gander really quick at our evidence. Time of death, 2.30. Pierce through the chest by a spear. We have the photo at 2 o'clock. Okay. Map. Murder weapon. Sleeping pills. Monkey's head. And photos of every victory scene in every battle the Steel Samurai has won that I can't open. That was given us to the by, to us by the second grade child. Okay. Nothing so far. Yep, my client twisted his ankle during the run through. Maybe we can do the photo there, so I'll keep that in mind. Okay. Everyone else ate lunch. T-bone steak. Skip lunch. He ate his pocket chocolate. Let me put press something different here. Um, I don't think it's contradictory, but let's see. See, this is what I'm talking about, guys. In real life, these witnesses, you'd think, you'd hope, would be prepped better than this. And if they're not, the jury is taking note of this, and it's affecting their credibility. I mean, the judge is a little different here in... Japanifornia. Is that what you guys say in the comments? Yeah. Apparently it's a mix of Japan and California, but regardless, he's trash. So then why lie? Why lie? Weird. And now there was a break during the meeting? So he's lied about two of the main points of his testimony. How long was the break and what time? Mm-hmm. Okay. Story and budget. Not appropriate for children. Oh. 
Okay, so we're lying about this again. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, okay, press harder. Perfect. Uh-huh. A whole lunch break. Absolutely they could have. For what it's worth, <laughs> they took a break, but it was 15 minutes. That's enough time to kill someone. Just saying. Really? You'd know, wouldn't you? Hmm. Well, we'll see, won't we, Judge? You mean the time of the murder? Like BFFR. Crazy. He could have at least lied about that. Like, how was I supposed to know? Absolutely it is. Yeah, Edgeworth, you're probably pissed, as you should be. Oh. Back. I don't know what that means. 13 in base 2. Is that a weird reference? He's gonna say he was eating. Mm -hmm. Okay. So D Vasquez, which you guys have told me in the comments of the last video, is supposed to be a play on Diva or Diva esque. Not their best, but uh, she sure is a Diva, all right. Yeah, it is, Edgeworth. Are you on my side here? disagree with that wholeheartedly Objection. no we haven't we're just getting started actually you you, you wish you you truly wish <laughs> absolutely I am Well, it's de I'm definitely not going to say it's impossible. Like, come on. Correct. So that left me with one option. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Correct. I do like to keep things interesting, Edgeworth. Why? Allegedly. Okay, I'm sorry, why are we just assuming none of the people in the trailer can, I don't know, hop a two-foot wall? Phoenix, take a deep breath and stop sweating all over council table. Oh my god, what do you mean? You're joking. You're joking, actually. That 
that's literally not true. I don't agree. Fully disagree. Fully disagree. Which is why it's good to have a jury so that not one single person is making these decisions. Okay, then there's not enough evidence. Which we don't. Do we? Do we? We'll bring them up. Okay, well, if you need a recess, that's fine, because I sure don't. I'm ready. I don't agree. Almost everyone will. Almost everyone. Do you, Mia? Because you don't seem that confident in that. Okay, it's giving mixed signals. What a weird conversation. Causing unnecessary trauma. Wow. Yeah, if you're calling him to the stand, he's fair game, Edgeworth. I'm sorry. But if you're going to literally accuse my client of murder, you're getting questioned. Do y'all not have a chair or something? Oh my god. I literally cannot. Wow. Okay. Beautiful. Perfect. <laughs> oh my god. Literally not a single one of Edgeworth's witnesses has ever cooperated with this question. It's quite hilarious. Oh my god. Don't think we can do that, but whatever it takes. <laughs> right. Yes, Cody, please. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. No! Haha. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. If you had your camera with you, so you didn't have your camera with you? Hmm. I don't know about that. <laughs> Still a child, though. Still gotta have some decorum. He was a good dad. Yeah, through the little grate, through the air duct. <laughs> Interesting. This, this here map. Okay. Interesting. So I'm guessing he's referring to the gate that leads to Studio 1 and 2. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, my client, I don't think you'd describe him as tall and skinny. Hmm. Very vague. Unless you were talking about Jack Hammer, I guess. Okay. Cody, jeez. Do you not realize what you're here for, babe? Where was your camera, Cody? Are you sure? You quite literally just said you have it all the time. None of this makes any sense. Okay, I suppose, like... Oh, we're back to the beginning. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. <sighs> okay. Okay. 
I would like to probably present this photo at some point. I would also like to present the monkey head when he said that the path wasn't blocked. Perhaps the map. Perhaps this photo as well. This photo book. And it says that he always... Let's start with the... Let's start with this. Because I don't like that he says he always carries it. And then he said he doesn't always carry it. If only I'd had my camera. Okay. Present. A little bit. Hmm. Yeah, Cody, do you understand what under oath means? Oh my god. Judge, you cannot be that old. You know what a digital camera is. Oh, oh okay, 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 wait. Keep forgetting this game is from 2001, but when did digital cameras come out? Like, it can't be that new. Maybe it can. I don't know. Why are you lying, Cody? I'm not terrorizing a child, Edgeworth. Like, calm down, dude. Thank you. I said what I said. Let's see what's on the camera, Cody. Yeah, I would love to know. Let's get a little bit more specific, shall we, Cody? Okay. Edgeworth, you can't object to that. Jeez. Calm down, dude. Get your panties out of a bunch. Y'all, this is so sketchy. Like, oh my gosh. Probably does. A kick, a punch, a chop, and a slap? Really? Because that is very, very different than a sword to the chest, wouldn't you say? Yo, he didn't actually see anything. That's what I think. I don't think he saw anything. I think he got too scared because he's a child. Perhaps he recorded all it all on his camera because he was too scared to watch, but he didn't see anything. I need to take a look at that camera. Oh, God. The judge is going to be mad at me if I press him, but like, I'm, I have to, I'm sorry. Right. Objection. 
Edgeworth, if you give me a second, I'll get to the meaning of it. <laughs> Not me objecting to his objection. I'm done. This is hilarious. <laughs> okay. That's one way to ask it. Correct. So glad we are discussing this because it needs to be talked about. Judge, do not get on to me right now. You know I'm right. Okay, I do agree that he couldn't watch it because I do genuinely think he was too scared. But I don't like the word couldn't in the sense of it was impossible because it wasn't impossible. I don't think he was watching something else. Show evidence. Ah, can I show the camera? Can I go into the evidence without clicking that? Okay. Okay. Contains photos of every victory scene and every battle. Ah, <sighs> uh, God. Okay. I'm not confident, but I'm going to go with he couldn't watch it. Okay. That's where I was going. That's true. That's true, actually. Dang it. That's so true. That's true. Oh, hate that for me. Hate that for me. I suppose I do. Do I lose a little life point? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna have to show evidence. I don't think he was watching something else. I don't know what that means. Uh... <sighs> Was I right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So he was too busy trying to figure out the camera. I mean, yeah. Oh, now you're a little kid, Cody. Now you're a little kid. Beautiful. Uh, awesome. Yeah, I mean, realistically, if he saw that, being that he takes photos of literally everything, he would have tried to take a picture of it or a video. Or I guess it is just pictures that were in 2001. I don't know. Digital camera, I guess, just meant picture. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. I'm not so sure he missed it. I would still like to see the camera. And what's on it. Oh, I agree, Mia. I fully agree. I love this. No photo? <laughs> okay. Interesting. Okay. Not much to work with there, but we can figure it out.
Not not the best, most helpful thing to press, but okay. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of funny, actually. What does that mean? I would like a further press on that, but okay. I'm already thinking to present the picture of the Seal Samurai on the previous statement, but we'll get there. Yeah, I don't believe him at all. No, I'm pressing him. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, he's not even trying. He's a child. Ah, I can't. Yeah, one of one of my powers is to see through the lies of Second grade children. <sighs> Gotta love it. <laughs> oh my god. Why wouldn't you? Hmm. I mean, I can definitely present the picture book. That's what it's looking like. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. So, held up my camera to take a picture, lens wouldn't open, erased them. Um, okay. No, I think we present this. I do. I feel good about it. Interesting. <laughs> Listen, you can't lie when you yourself have photographic evidence, like you lost before you even started. I would agree. Can we open the album? God, what am I missing? Oh God, oh God. I hope the kid didn't do it. Why am I actually getting anxiety right now? Oh my God. No. 
I'm missing something. No, I'm missing something. I don't know. Girl, I don't know what to tell him. I don't know what the truth is. Judge, I don't know. Oh, God. I mean, the only answer that makes sense is that the Steel Samurai didn't win. Hold on, hold on. If the Steel Samurai didn't... I'm so confused. I'm honestly confused. But I think this is the right answer. Cody. Unless he did. I'm so confused. I'm I'm confused, honestly. Yeah, please. Tell the court. Steel Samurai costume. I don't understand. Clearly not, Edgeworth. Oh god, okay. The issue is Jack Hammer literally died like he was the victim. Steel Samurai. I don't know, you guys. And then there was no victim? What does that even mean? Oh, God. Okay. I feel like I should choose Steel Samurai was the victim, but I'm, I'm having trouble wrapping my mind around how. Jack Hammer was found dead in the evil magistrate, I believe is the name of its suit, or whatever his suit was, with a spear through his chest, which means nobody could have taken a body out and put a, put a different body into that costume or put that costume onto a different body because there was a spear. Not easily, at least. That would be kind of crazy. Steel Samurai not winning, I guess, means he was the victim? But what do you mean there was no victim? That can't be true. We have a dead body. I'm going to choose this. What? 
Right. Right. Okay, was this wrong because I'm... Oh. Okay, Cody. Well, let's hear it. Convenient. <laughs> let's see it. Oh, come on. Let's see it. I can't wait. <sighs> okay. Steel Samurai's back entering her next to Studio 2. Yeah. It's not at all. Do I need to compare it with the other photo? Oh god. Oh, he's holding the freaking spear! He's holding the spear. Right? Yeah. Okay, I still think it's the spear. Do I need to just do the top part? If not, I'm gonna have to do the two. Okay, so let me do the two. Okay. Correct. doesn't uh studio two <laughs> oh god oh okay I think it's because the path was blocked because this whole time we've been talking about how none of the people who were in Studio 2 could get out due to the path being blocked. I think the more important thing is that nobody could actually get in. So if it happened in Studio 2, it's because the people who did it were already there? Good. 
right. Correct. Yep. Yeah, I'm still a little confused on that one too, Edgeworth, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> okay. This is probably going to be it, but I still want to use this, but this doesn't prove that Jack Hammer did it. It just proves that somebody did it. We're, oh God, we're going to have to use, I don't know if this is right. Oh God. Oh, okay. Okay. Maybe this? Oh god. I don't... I just appreciate they're giving me so many chances. Okay, the sleeping pills? Oh my god, okay. We got to finally have that come in. I've been waiting for that. See, that's what I was saying, Judge, but uh, I, I'm, I'm with Phoenix here. I'm gonna have to back my mans, you know? Okay, well, we're not gonna test Powers' blood now. We can fingerprint the bottle, and we're not gonna examine Hammers' body, so... I mean, that's true. That's pretty good, I guess. Sweet. Sounds great. Ah. Interesting. Yeah, I would also like to know the answer to that, Judge, so I will do my best. Mmm, <laughs> love that. Okay. Sounds good to me. Beautiful. Back to the lobby. God, Mia, then go home, dude. Phoenix! <laughs> oh my god. Well, I'm confident in you, Will. Me. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> 
This is not helpful at all. Ha ha. That's a big promise to make. Okay. Well, that was certainly not how I was expecting today to end, but I'm excited to finalize the investigation and have everything kind of come together because I genuinely am not sure of what happened. Yeah, definitely come back to the next video if you guys want to see because I'm very excited to kind of get to the bottom of this and get the answers that we're all so desperately seeking. And until then, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video where we hopefully get some answers to all of our questions. Goodbye and go thrive.